I'm Job Roster from Chester University. We all do um, random surveys for GRDC and any of So with the random surveys, what we do is we start somewhere, we pick a region, we've got regions that we're um, due to do every year, and we start and we just basically drive and every 10k by the speedo, walk around and collect what weed seeds there are, mainly ryegrass, wild oats, and recently milk thistle. But we're also collecting radish, brome grass, barley grass, and any other thing that's there's a fair bit of. Um, what I've got on this sheet that Eric's been handing out is the results from the last three random surveys. Uh, basically the one in 2007, which is the first one, is, is we did the southwest slopes region. So started at about Wellington, worked our way right down to the border. And we did that again last year and there's some preliminary results. So what we've found is on a purely random basis, 2007, 81% of the paddocks, the we, cropping paddocks were resistant to the fops. And the results from this year was 91%. So there's been that increase in the ryegrass. Um, the clethodim resistance stayed about 21% for the two surveys, so it's stayed constant. Um, the group B resistance, it's similar. Uh, we went from chlorosulfuron to sulfmeturon just because it's and part of a national program and that's the herbicides that were chosen. Um, you might look at it with the um, Isomax, isomoxism here that it's gone down, but you'll get that sort of bounce in a survey. If you go back and sample the paddocks next door to the paddock you sampled the year before, you'll get a fair bit, of, a little bit of variation, just for the nat just natural variation in populations of how they've evolved. Um, and that was the case with the um, trifluralin. Now, last from this last survey, 29% of the paddocks had resistance to trifluralin. Um, the one that's got awaiting results, we had a quick look at them this morning. 140 paddocks sample, tested for resistance to Roundup. There was four to five of those populations were resistant, and probably another 10 had some plants surviving at two times the recommended rate. So we're starting to get that, and uh, the good news is the, re the level of resistance to clethodum is still zero for the um, wild oats. Um, probably be a few resistant to mesosulfuron, 